This is how you create a progress bar chart using only conditional formatting and it looks something like this. Let me show you how this is done. First, you're going to select all the cells under the progress bar column like this. And then after that, go home, style, conditional formatting. In here, you're going to select manage rules. On this section here, you're going to select new rules and you're going to select use a formula to determine which cell to format. And the formula you're going to use is here, equal B3. B3 pertains to this cell here, the percent complete. If this B3 is less than 100% like this, let's assign the color to be filled as green. And click OK. And OK one more time. And you should have one entry or one rules in here. And next rule, we're going to say new rule. Same thing, use the formula to determine which cell to format. You're going to say equal B3. Less than, let's do 60% now. And if it's less than 60%, you're going to click on format and fill. And let's this time around color it in yellow like this. And click OK. And OK one more time. Now you got two rules. And let's create one more rule. New rule. Use formula to determine which cell to format. Equal B3. Now this time around, let's do 30%. If it's less than 30%, we're going to color that as this, this kind of red. Or any color that you like. And click OK. And OK. Now you should have three rules like this. Now if you click on OK, your, all your cells on a progress bar should be colored according to the percentage that you have completed shown here. Next, we're going to do the white color, which is going to be the inverse color of the bar chart. Make sure you are still selected all the cells on your progress bar here. Then you go home, style, conditional formatting. Next, you're going to select data bars and you're going to say more rules here. In this pop-up here, you're going to select this to number, the type to number. Leave this as zero. That's the minimum side. On the maximum side, you're going to select this as number again, and we're going to set this to one. The reason for that is because our percentage is actually from zero to one, but it has been formatted so that it's showing zero, uh, zero to 100. So once that's done, we're going to color the bar chart as white, which is going to be inverse. And then after that, bar direction, we're going to say right to left like this. After that, you're going to click OK. Nothing really happens. You can see this. Looks like nothing's going on. But now to draw the white bar chart, you're going to say equal 1 minus B3 like this. And you can see that the bar chart is being drawn here. It's showing as 58%. But the 42 pertains to the color side. Now you're going to apply the same set of formula to the rest of the row. Just double click on this uh, fill handler like this and it applies to the rest of the rows. Now to make it more pretty, we don't want to see these numbers here. You select all the progress bar like this and you're going to change this font color to white and basically align it to the right like this. And after that, you're done.